The Iron Throne is mine by right. Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today I am building something from technically two different series, though one is kind of like a spin-off. Uh, my wife really enjoys the Game of Thrones series. She read the books, we watched the HBO series on television a while back, and recently they have started to release some new spin-off series, the House of Dragons, which we just watched come out not too long ago. Uh, and I thought, why not make something for my wife to commemorate her love for this series? And um, yeah, we spent uh, the weekend remodeling her office at home. And I didn't really have a lot of time to make some massive thing. So I thought of an idea. I've seen a couple of people do this before and they do sell these things online. I want to make a Iron Throne phone charger. Um, I'm going to make it all out of foam. I'll pop the little USB plug on the bottom through it and she can charge her phone kind of in style. So today we are building the Iron Throne from the Game of Thrones and the House of Dragons out of EVA foam as a surprise for my wife. Let's get to building. To start off, I needed to make a chair base to glue the 50 bajillion swords to. I did a quick search on a website called Sketchfab that you see me use from time to time for 3D models, and I found a really good one to go off of. Not only was I using the image as a reference, I was also using the size of my phone to figure out the scale I needed. So I literally just freehanded a rough idea on poster board to make a template for the base. I traced my pattern onto some 4mm What the Foam from Cosplay Apprentice and cut it out. What the Foam is a little denser than normal EVA and it'll make the end result super sturdy without having to put in super thick foam or other kinds of supports. <laughs>
The assembly is pretty simple. After applying contact cement onto the necessary surfaces and waiting for the glue to set up, I tack them together. The back and the sides get glued flush with each other on their edges. The seat and the front are recessed a little bit from the back and the sides to create that area where your butt goes, or in this case, your phone goes. This does not have to look pretty at all as most of it's gonna get covered with a bajillion swords here in a minute. For builds like this one, I am so glad that I have a laser cutter. I did a test piece first to see if the sizing was right for the throne. I had to make a couple of adjustments on the sword size as well as how strong and fast the laser cut because as you'll see in a second it didn't go all the way through. Once I figured all those little details out, I found some Glowforge Sword SVGs and cut out a ridiculous amount of tiny 4-5 to five inch swords out of EVA. My Iron Throne has 150 swords, surprisingly just a couple shy of what Littlefinger said he counted when he was looking at the throne in the show. It took my laser cutter roughly 35 minutes to cut them all out. I would have probably had to take a couple days to do so and it still would not have looked as nice as these were. Engraving things takes a little bit longer so I decided to do that part by hand and I grabbed about 40 of them or so to use my wood burner and rotary tool on. On. These will be the last ones that I glued on so you could see the details standing out. <laughs> Now the tedious task of super gluing on 150 foam swords. I started with the top profile and worked my way around. I had to cut off little bits here and there to get the layers to spread out just the way I wanted to, but after that it was literally just randomly stretching them across open areas and overlapping corners and other swords. Altogether this probably took me about 3 or 4 hours to do. My last layer was the ones you see piled on the right side of the chair at the moment. Yes, my hands were covered in super glue and foam at the end of this and yes my fingerprints are almost non-existent from the peeling and buffing off of bits <laughs> Now time for two coats of Plassy Dip to seal everything off. I kept the paint job really simple for this one. Silver rub and buff dry brush on with a chip brush did a majority of the work and then I dabbed on a little brown and black acrylic paint to dirty it up just, just a tad. Painting on the rub and buff is almost like magic as it starts to kind of highlight those details that are 
burned in and the layers of swords that are stacked on top of each other. It creates shadows and details that may otherwise go unnoticed. You may not have pinpointed it, but I'll give you a little surprise. There's a hidden Viking Ulberth sword on the backside, just for fun. The last thing I had to do was run the cord for the charger. I cut out slits from the underside and pushed the cord through. You could glue this stuff into place, but I know my wife's phone habits pretty good after 26 years together. She'll let it go down to almost zero before she finally decides to plug it in. So I wanted to give her the ability to have her phone be able to stand upright and like it's sitting on the throne or drape it across horizontally so she can still watch videos. Leaving the cord loose will allow for her to be able to plug it in in either position. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, I think it turned out pretty awesome. I definitely probably could not have done this in the time I did by hand. Um, my Glowforge really saved me on this. Cutting out 150 swords would have taken me forever. Even just kind of personalizing about a fourth of them took me forever, so yeah. Maybe you'll try and make one of these yourselves and impress your friends with your ability to take something from your favorite series, turn it into something miniature, and make it a little chachi that sits on your desk and you can charge your phone and be all cool. I hope not. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them. Much props. Um... I'll let you sit on it, but you, you gotta be careful because it's really sharp and uh, scrape your bum bum. If you enjoy what I do here on YouTube and want to continue to see builds like this one, please consider joining these awesome people listed here with me over on my Patreon to build a bigger, better, more creative community together.